The Ethiopian Bible stands as a unique repository of spiritual literature, diverging significantly from its Western counterparts by including several books not found in other Christian canons. This collection, sacred to the Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, encompasses texts that delve deep into themes of prophecy, wisdom, and apocalyptic visions, offering a broader, more nuanced spiritual narrative. Among these unique texts are the Book of Enoch, the Book of Jubilees, and the various books of Maccabean, not to be confused with the Maccabees found in other traditions. The Book of Enoch, for instance, provides a detailed account of the fallen angels, offering insights into early Jewish mysticism and angelology. The Book of Jubilees retells Genesis and Exodus stories, emphasizing strict law observance and calendar reform. The Maccabean books, distinct to the Ethiopian canon, explore themes of redemption and divine justice. The inclusion of these texts in the Ethiopian Bible, but their absence from others raises intriguing questions about the formation of the biblical canon. The decisions on which books were deemed canonical varied significantly among early Christian communities, influenced by theological, political, and cultural considerations. The Western Church, following the councils of Hippo, 393 AD, and Carthage, 397 AD, standardized its canon, excluding texts deemed apocryphal or non-canonical, often due to their content, authorship, or lack of widespread acceptance. But who decided what was included and what was left out? The shaping of the canon was a complex process, involving church leaders, theologians, and councils over several centuries. These decisions often reflected the theological leanings and historical contexts of the communities making them. The Ethiopian Orthodox Tuahedo Church, with its distinct historical and cultural development, preserved these texts, offering a window into a broader Christian tradition. Now, the twist, recent scholarly interest and archaeological discoveries, like the Dead Sea Scrolls, have reignited interest in these excluded books. They offer fresh perspectives on early Jewish and Christian thought, challenging modern believers and scholars to reconsider the boundaries of their sacred scriptures. This exploration of the Ethiopian Bible and its unique texts invites us to ponder the rich tapestry of religious tradition and the complex history of sacred writings. It leaves us yearning for more understanding of the diverse paths faith has taken over millennia and the profound mysteries still hidden within ancient texts, waiting to be rediscovered and reinterpreted for our time.